Um, and for the O, we're just going to use the. Now we'll use this one. That's a bit big. That's about right. There we go. Okay, so now that's all done, we need to create this brown fill around it, which is quite easy to do. Um, we're just going to, first of all, we're going to merge all these layers together. Again, just to select those with the select key. Uh, right click on it and go select pixels, then go to select, modify, expand, and expand by 15 pixels. And then control shift N on your keyboard while that's still selected, which creates a new layer. And OK that. Get the paint bucket tool and we're going to make a brown colour. Uh, for this one I'm using 301E02. That'll do. And colour that in. And then you just need to drag that layer below the other one. And there we go, that's that done for you. OK, so what else are we missing? Well, we're missing this textured effect on here. So rather than copying it back in, um, we're just going to move this layer all the way up to the top and set the blend mode on that to multiply there you go. and if you actually if you might not have noticed but if you zoom in you can see there's a textured effect on the back of that background and the way I did that was using this image here which I've included in the sidebar as well so control, uh, select that and copy that and uh, this needs to go in a new layer but it will do that when we paste it in um, paste it in and hit control T and then what you want to do is you want to make this actually we're going to drag this down just below cancel that we're going to drag that down to in between layer 4 and 5 which is the text layer there and the background of it so we'll select this um, control T and we're just going to make sure that that covers up all of our text and the brown background there we go Ooh, wait too much. There we go. Uh, hit OK. Right click on that layer and then left click on create clipping mask and that will apply it to that layer there and we then just need to set that to color burn. And if you zoom in oh. Oh, sorry, I keep changing it. Right, click off, zoom in. You were to see that pattern is on there now. We can use obviously different blending modes to sort that out. Um, let's have a look. A soft light will obviously do that to it. Hard light, a bit weird, not really the effect that we want. An overlay works just as well actually, so we'll just leave it on that for the moment. And then finally, to create this, you know, almost spotlight effect on the middle and darken it around the edges. Really, really simple create a new layer, drag it to the top and it's just going to be a black to white uh, gradient overlay um, which will then drop the opacity on so we just do that uh, you know what actually first I mm, don't like that let's put that back to colour what does colour dodge do to it? no, don't like that either let's go colour burn, leave it on that, there we are, sorry, now I'm happy Oop. not quite right, there we go and that's going to be set to overlay that does look quite cool Oh, sorry, my mouse is playing up a little bit. There we go, that looks quite cool. Um, we can move that in a bit. We can text transform it. Extend it past the page to move it more central. Hit OK. And then drop the opacity down. A little bit more. That's it, probably about 65%. And there you are. There's your retro-styled image with the uh, with the uh, striped background and all the textures applied on top of it. Uh, thank you for watching this uh, <laughs> rather long tutorial uh, compared to my other ones. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Um, 
if yeah, again, like I said, if you have any questions uh, um, about this tutorial, um, you know, leave them in the comment section or send me a message. Uh, or if you need a hand with um, placing the these custom shape um, brushes in the in Photoshop and getting them all sorted out. Uh, until next time, thank you for watching, and uh, look out for some more more video for more of my videos coming soon. Thank you.